I wanted to introduce our guest speaker, Rob England. Rob is a member of the Yurok tribe. He holds his MA in psychology, and he currently serves as the health promotion manager for United Indian Health Services Incorporated. He has 20 years of experience working in tribal communities in the areas of suicide prevention, native youth development, enhancing cultural knowledge, and advocating for youth and families in juvenile justice and child welfare. I agree. Now, Rob England. The name of our project is Kohat Kuma, which is a Yurok word for working together. Our organization is United Indian Health Services, and we are located in Northern California, up near the Oregon border. Our project at UIHS has many different approaches. I'd like to demonstrate that weaving culture into our suicide prevention strategies is constant and through many different forms. When it was time for us to select a training to incorporate with our cultural activity, we ended up selecting question persuade refer, which is commonly referred to as QPR. The cultural activity we selected was rope making from Hazel Stick. And this skill isn't widely known, so it was a draw to learn about this. The attendees were some of our cultural leaders, people that we identified as positive male role models, a native clinician, and also young men from the community who could benefit from the training and the increase in cultural knowledge. One of the draws from this activity was going to one of our village sites and having the cultural activity there. We were able to bring together three generations of Native men who brought wildly different perspectives, lots of storytelling. And this was really important because our community was experiencing significant suicide loss. The Yurok tribe declared a state of emergency due to suicides on the upper part of the reservation and the age of those lost by suicide were really the 16 to 34. Six of the seven were male, and those people who died were not engaged in our healthcare system. And so one of our strategies was that if they're not coming into our healthcare system, what would be another way to reach out to them? And one of the ways that we thought of was through a cultural activity. This activity was also scheduled a few weeks prior to one of our brush dances. And the participants were able to walk away from this activity with an act of generosity of giving back to the tribal community by repairing our houses. One of the, the houses was tied down with actual rope. And so we were able to replace it in a traditional way instead of modern rope. It was a lot of hard work in making that rope and, and turning a stick and making a piece of wood pliable to a rope. And so when it was time to have a break and time to have a conversation, you know, it, it was just like a, like a real natural process. And then it was time where some of those conversations could follow that afternoon and into the next day. It was very well received by the people. Another one of our goals for this activity was engaging people who may be in contact with our young Native men. This is the population that we often experience the most suicide loss in our tribal communities, and really giving our cultural leaders not only their knowledge that they have culturally, but give them actual skills that have been known to work in suicide prevention fields. 